this video I want to show you how to remove the page break lines uh, within Excel. And I often get the question when somebody has um, let's say clicked view and then clicked page break view and you can see these page breaks just here but when you go back to normal view you get these dotted lines just down here and then down here and it's how to remove those well they can be removed by going to file and then in the backstage view select options and then come down to advanced and then if you scroll down the advanced section until you get to this one display options for this worksheet and then you can take the tick out of show page breaks but that takes a bit of time doing it that way so there's a little piece of uh, VBA code that I can show you how to insert so even if you are not used to macros or VBA this is very simple to do so the first thing is for you to get the code of which should be below this particular video so if I just open it up and show you what it looks like so here's a text file and there's the small piece of code that you need to copy and paste so let's copy this so highlight it control C for copy and we can just close that out of the way now you need to hold your Alt key down and press F11 and it opens up your Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications editor. You need to come down to the VBA project called personal.xlsb, that's your personal macro workbook. Then these modules here, I've got three modules, uh, you may well have none at all but just come up to insert and click module and there we go on mine it's inserted module 4 in yours it could well be module 1 then in this area here this is just a blank editor paste your piece of code in and so we should have sub and it's called print lines all these green parts here are just comments and then the one line of code that you want is this line here active sheet dot display page breaks equals false and then end sub so once you've got that you can close that editor down now what we want to do is put this into a shortcut up the top here um, into your quick access toolbar so the way to do that is drop this arrow down here come down to more commands then you need to change this one to macros and then you should see your macro that we've just created called print lines click add down here which puts it over to this side and you might want to change this icon so if you click modify and there's a nice icon I like for this one I'm just going to use let's say this one here okay click OK and then there it is at the top now all you need to do so the, here's the lines here click that button and your page break lines have gone